So just the other day, Bushcraft and Banjo said, hey, what do you think about that technique using aluminum foil and cotton balls and petroleum jelly? And I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure what that's all about. And I was like, are you sure that it can last as long as you're saying it can last? Because, you know, he and other people were saying that it could burn for potentially over 40 minutes. In some cases, some people said up to an hour. And I'm thinking off of one cotton ball. So I looked into it a little more. And Bushcraft and Banjo said that uh, he got some information from Black Scout Survival. So I went over there and found his video on this uh, topic. And uh, once again, he says that you can actually uh, use this technique if you perfect it to get around 40 to 60 minutes. And so I was like, wow, this is pretty interesting. And I've pretty much heard of almost every technique possible, I thought at least, um, of how to deal with flames and how you extend the life of a flame and all kind of flame extender uh, techniques. And so I was like, well, this is something that I haven't really personally tried out. So I got some stuff out and made my own uh, packets of petroleum jelly impregnated cotton balls and so here we go this is just a test run so obviously you're going to see that i have to experiment further uh, to perfect this technique but you know just trying it out no harm in that so i have my impregnated uh, cotton ball inside this packet here of aluminum foil and so we flip it over and i'm going to uh, score an x on the top here in the middle so you can see that small score uh, this was probably my first mistake. I didn't make it a large enough hole. And you'll see next here that I really didn't pull out very much. So you're going to want to pull out a little bit and create kind of like a, a wick, like a candle wick. And so this was my, my next mistake is that once again, I didn't pull it out enough. And so I was just trying to see um, how this worked, really. So I took it over to the, the wood stove and, and put it down. And I got out my old cell phone to use it as a, a timer, and I took out one of my uh, my jet lighters, and I was like, let's go ahead and try this out and see how long it'll burn. So, I mean, it lit right away, no problem, right? So it's burning. Here's we're at nine seconds in. And then it goes out pretty quickly, actually. And so what I learned this first time around was the wick wasn't very long. It only lasted about a, a minute even almost because not enough wick and not enough air to get in because the hole was probably too small. So I made the hole a little bit bigger and pulled out quite a bit more to create a much larger wick than I did before. And wow, it worked a lot better this time. So it starts out really strong. In fact, I was like, man, I might have pulled out too much. Maybe this is not the right way to do this. So we're about almost eight seconds in there, and you can see it's holding steady. It's slowly getting a little bit more dim and more dim. See here, we're about... 37 seconds in here. It's holding steady. 41 seconds. A minute and 32 seconds. Holding steady. It does at this point seem to be kind of slowly getting less and less robust. We're at 2 minutes and 23 seconds. So at this point, I'm thinking, man, I didn't pull enough out, and you know, the wick wasn't large enough, and I probably needed a larger hole. You can see right now it's starting to snuff itself out, even though there's a lot of material left in there to burn still. So right here, it's just right before it goes out, and let's see how long that we've been able to burn it so far. Five minutes and 38 seconds, and it's still going. And it goes out right here, boom. Five minutes and 51 seconds. So the technique that I have is probably not perfected by any means because I'm getting almost six minutes, but there are people who've 
obviously get over 40 minutes. So I think that we have to practice with this technique before you just assume that you can just go out in the field and do it um, with, you know, with no with no insight. So this is something that you, you want to kind of figure it out before you rely on it, you know, in the real world or in a, you know, in, in a real survival situation per se. So it's interesting. Um, I did check afterwards and there's a lot of the cotton ball left in there. So it wasn't even close to halfway burnt or used. So what do you think? Thanks for watching.